What's going on YouTube? Welcome to today's episode of Putt Stuff. Today we're going to be playing the legendary Pinehurst Golf Course in North Carolina. We're going to be playing on number one, which is one of their oldest courses. We're going to be playing from the white tees, which is 5806 yards, with a course rating of 67.4 with a slope of 113. Of course, it's going to be a par 72. A little bit about this course, it was designed by Donald Ross. He was actually the third designer, which they changed a lot of the course in the early 1900s. So I got to say, playing Pinehurst was a phenomenal experience. The staff, everybody there could not have been better. Really made you feel like they wanted you there, playing great golf, and it was just a blast all around to play. So hopefully I go out there and break 100. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you're enjoying the content. And make sure to leave a comment of a legendary golf course where you would like to see me play next or potentially play yourselves. All right, hopefully I go out there and stuff some putts. Thanks again for watching. All right, here we are, hole number one, hitting with the big stick, and we're hitting into the woods right away. Nice little chip out here, right in the middle of the fairway. Hit a left hooking shot, and we're gonna be left of the green. Put myself in some trouble here. Gonna have a tough little punch out. Actually hit it right through this bush, couldn't be happier. I'm gonna be right on the side. Decide to putt up instead of chipping. Hoping it slows down there. We're on shot number six and I sink the putt all right moving on to hole number two hit a great drive the carry was a little off there middle fairway a decent shot with my hybrid behind the tree and I duff the shot I mess up the camera here too so we get a little time lapse we're on the green screens were very large and gettable not too much slope here, I just miscalculate. I end up having to take a three putt here, which is gonna leave us with a seven on hole number two. Hole number three, back on my bullshit of sure topping the, the driver. <laughs> As you can hear, Gabe asking if I want a mulligan, but I absolutely pipe my two hybrid <laughs> right there, 230 yards. Dude, Setting up a next shot. I have another great pin. shot. See if we can seek the pin on that one. I think it rolled off the back and it did. Back up on the green and I hit it the whole way across. We're gonna be putting here. Stroke number six, I leave it about 10 miles too short. <laughs> Get some chatter from everybody watching me and I sink the putt, we're moving. Hole number four and I'm in trouble on the right this time. Gonna punch out and I clobber it and we're gonna be on the left. Taking another shot and we're going up and down. Still not on the green. Hitting four. Let's see if we can get up there. Not quite. Gonna take five shots on the par five to get to the green. Let's see if I can finish here for something other than a seven. Line it up. Oh, and I sink it like every great putt it's followed by a terrible shot on the next part three i'm going far left again still can't figure out that hook out of the trees hoping it avoids that sand let's see where we end up right on the edge of the green a long putt almost gets there just past we're gonna tap in for a nice four on the five par three so in between five and six it started absolutely pouring you can hear from the camera i decide i'm just gonna hit it should clear up shortly hit my driver hit it right into the face of the hill there in between this shot and the next it actually starts clearing up and i hit a pretty decent shot with my hybrid it gets up over the hill and we're gonna be hitting three here and i hook it left and there's actually a decent bit of slope on this green here as you're gonna see here shortly I putt up and just miss it to the right, and it is going to come down. Putt back, just miss again. 
We're going to tap in for a six on the par four. Moving on to hole number seven. Here we are, pretty wide open par four. Decide to use a iron, and I'm to the left. Gets over there, I duff it. As you can see, I'm in the weeds. I miss a shot there. We're on the green in four, and trying to hit a lag putt. Just my speed was all over the place today. Just could not seem to find the hole. So I'm gonna tap in here for a hopeful six. Gonna line her up. Uh, as another note, this is the first time I was playing with the Chrome Soft golf balls. Never really used those before. Um, I could definitely feel a difference. All right, and finally after seven holes, I finally hit a monster drive here. It's gonna get down there. We're gonna chip on here. I actually hit it thin, but it rolls up. I'm on the green in two. Have a pretty good lag putt. Just missed the birdie. And I'm gonna tap in for a par. My best shots of the front nine so far. Really great for the score there. Really overthinking this putt. Should have just went up there and hit it. But we're moving on to nine. Nine's the par three. I'm going left, and that ball is going to be out of bounds. Let's keep moving. I got a little drop shot there, so we're sitting three. Just need to get up and down here, and hopefully two putt get out of there with a double bogey would be ideal. See how it goes. Nice little bump and run action. As you can see, I'm not very confident with my wedges. Long downhill putt just breaks like crazy. We're going to go up there. And I miss the tap in. We're gonna take double or double par, triple bogey. Moving on to ten. Hit a pretty decent drive here on ten. We're gonna be moving up. I'm in the uh, pine needles. Um, hit a nice out and smacking it up there. We're gonna be sitting at four on the green. Long putt. It's pretty flat, and I leave it just a tiny bit short. And we're going to tap in for a bogey on number 10. Moving on, we are going to hole number 11. Take the big stick out. And I hit it into the trees. Luckily, it bounced out. And I'm going to slash my way up there. Hit a nice drive or nice shot here with my two hybrid. Once again, I'm hooking everything left with my irons. But I get up and down and we're on the green in four. Putting for five. Just leave it to the right. Just not a good read. We're going to tap in for double bogey. Next up is a 218-yard par 3. What's absolutely crazy is the group two people in front of us. One of the guys hit a hole in one on this. Uh, we were just coming up. The guys in front of us said that they they saw him hit a hole in one there. Pretty crazy, 218. I hit OB um, twice, so I'm sitting at four here. Trying to chip on. Just disastrous on par threes for me. Um, yeah, just not great. So we're sitting at five. Downhill putt. Looks pretty flat. A little bit of left to right there. And for the second time, I'm going to be taking double par or more on a par three, which is just disastrous to the scorecard. Um, as you can see, the guys we're playing with. Trying to hit a putt between his legs. Um, pretty tough to putt with that going on. But I'm just messing. It was all, all good. Um, moving on. Gotta, well, got to make this putt first here. And I make it. But yeah, par threes have haunted me. So we're moving on to the next hole. And I'm just all over the place. Left, right with the driver. This one's going to be right. We're going to be taking another drop here. Hit it off this hilltop here. Getting it down there. As you can see, I'm covered in mud. It's pretty swampy down there. Sitting at four, just off the green for shot five. Hit a pretty good putt here, and we're going to get out of there with double bogey. As you see, scorecard is just going up and up. Another chance for driver here, and we're going to keep moving on. Just whacking my way up, and that one is just out of here. Just a terrible hit. I'm hitting out somebody's yard right here along the golf course. We're going to get up, going up and down, just hitting left and right, trying to put on here, just miss it. Once again, I just can't read these greens at all, and my speed is just all over the place, leaving stuff short, leaving it long. We're going to tap in here for a set. 
All right, hit a actually great tee shot here. We're gonna be in the middle of the fairway. Second shot, it's going left per usual. Let's see if we can chip on here. Just trying to watch where it goes here. Kind of in the rough, hit a bump and run up onto the green. And I'm gonna putt from the fringe. Not a great putt, but we're in striking distance and I missed the bogey putt. We are gonna tap in here for another double bogey. And we're moving on to 16 here. Hit a decent tee shot, almost fall over. It's going a little bit left. We're gonna have a nice chance for a second shot here though. Hit the second shot and I forget where this landed actually, but um, I missed a few shots in between and I miss a putt for bogey. Throw my hat, tap in for another double bogey. As you can see, a lot of putts left out there. Moving on to 17. I hit a great shot with my two hybrid. I know I'm sitting at 92 at this point. I gotta do something special here if I wanna try and break 100. Pretty happy with that. Sets up a nice wedge shot and I just don't get it there and we're in the sand. I duff one sand shot. Gonna walk back up and hit again. Just disastrous in the sand I really needed to get up and down wish I could have done that the first time and we're gonna putt here just can't read the green to save my life today so we're gonna see if we can get out of there with double bogey and we do moving on to 18 we're heading back to the legendary clubhouse here at Pinehurst as I'm hacking my way down this if you look to the right you can actually see the legendary number two course so I get on the green and almost on the green in three we're gonna tap up for four and i just can't sink a putt to save my life and i just add on so many strokes here right at the end so you can see the clubhouse there pinehurst number two is off to our right i can't say enough about how awesome it was to play down there as you can see, our final scores, I have a 106. To be honest, I forget what Gabe shot. I have the scorecard somewhere. I just don't feel like digging it out. Um, once again, thanks again for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I'm really trying to make my way to 100 subscribers and then eventually 1,000, hopefully. Um, I'm having a blast making these videos. So If you guys can, leave a comment for the algorithm. Let me know where you want to see me play next. I would love to get around to more championship courses. And make sure to always keep stuffing those putts. Thanks for watching.